everyone, I am Tasta, and today I'm going to be going over probably one of the most asked questions, and that is how to farm trait stones. Well, it is 2.01, as all of you know by now, and what this update ends up adding is the addition of Kingdom Explorers. This explorer is available for every single kingdom that you complete the quest line for. And before I get into it and show the best team for doing it and everything like that, I'd just like to apologize for not being able to upload that many videos. As you probably heard from the previous video I uploaded, my voice is still <coughs> a little bit off from talking so much and doing the week-long stream. And of course, the week-long stream and getting ranked 1 has been taking up all my time. If we get over here, it uh, should still actually be in ranked 1 right now. I haven't even checked this morning. Uh, let me just click. Sorry. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 and I'm still in the lead by like 2,000. So that's the little thing. Is Astro's Bro, I mean, is Alex even on right now? Um, three hours ago. So yeah, we're way ahead. <laughs> Anyways, but that was the goal of all week is to get global rank one, and we're on track to be able to do that. Anyways, um, kingdom challenges. Every single kingdom has one. Every single kingdom has different trait zones. What you need to know, for one, to be able to start getting every single color from Kingdom Challenges, you need to have both uh, Broken Spire, Adana, and uh, Zolkari. You'll easily be able to get them. There are uh, those two are actually the first two kingdoms, and you can just go to Zolkari. Um, <coughs> this uh, Broken Spire would be brown blue, Adana red yellow, and Zolkari is green purple. If you just want to farm specific colors, you do. Um, Pride Lance for red, Kazel for brown, White Helm for yellow, Forest of Thorns for green, Terracraft for purple, and wait, where did the last other pure color go? Wait, where'd it go? Where'd it go? How did I? Oh, and Stormheim for blue. Sorry. <laughs> Forgot about you. And where will I be going? Well, for one, the new Assassin class just came out, which I'll be showing soon. As you can see, I'll have the weapon. Probably show that video tomorrow. And I am low on red-purple. So, uh, there's actually two kingdoms that have two overlap because there's so many kingdoms now. Um, Golvania and Blighted Lands both have the red-purple arcane traits zone. And Glacial Peaks and um, Divinian Fields both have the yellow-purple. So those are the only two repeats. Other than that, you would need all other 21 kingdoms to be able to uh, get every single arcane trait stone. But as far as every single color, you only need a Broken Spire, Adana, and Zokari. And like I said, for every single um, uh, single color, you have Pride Lance Red, Stormheim Blue, White Helm Yellow, uh, Kazel Brown, uh, Forest of Thorns Green, and Karakroth Purple. I believe I mentioned all of them at that time. <laughs> Anyways, let's actually get into it and show you what the best theme is to be using for Explore. I've been seeing a lot of teams, but I've tried to make one that earlier game players can use as well. And I'm actually using it based on a buff that was added. Also, I have I've barely even showed the screen, despite um, explaining the whole thing. Uh, this is basically how challenges work. You get a bit of resources at the end of each battle. Just to make it worth about as much as PvP, or a little bit less than PvP, but at least you're not getting like no gold like challenges do. Like they give so such a minimal amount of gold. <clears throat> but what's interesting about them is they give two times chance for the runic and three times for both the arcane and a celestial trait zone. One thing to keep in mind is that difficulty does not increase the chances of uh trait stone in any way. Uh only thing difficulty will do <clears throat> is raise the resources you get. So for the most part, you're better off just keeping it at normal or hard for Explore, uh, unless you really have a team that can do a lot of damage to them. But for the team I'll be showing you, it's just for doing quick Arcane Trait Stone cycles on normal. So let's click Explore. What this will do is bring up a random four troops. For the most part, they are composed of the kingdom, and um, um, sometimes I actually got uh, been doing this challenge several times. And I actually got a roll that had none from the kingdom for some reason. But it uses the banner from the kingdom combined with a random, just like some random troops. It's actually been pretty random. I don't think there's like any kind of methodology to it. Like you can see right here, we got one rare and three commons. Sometimes you can get really trolled with like a legend, a good legendary and like a uh, epic common, something else, you know, stuff like that. Sometimes the combinations can be good, but for the most part, they're pretty weak. 
And uh, like I said, uh, both, um, um, uh, uh, come on, Golvania and uh, Blighted Lands both have um, red, purple. I just chose to do Golvania for the most part because I did find it to be slightly easier or less annoying than some of the demons. Anyways, as you can see over here, <clears throat> here's my quick explore team that I've been using. Boral Taurus, if none of you know, uh, actually got a buff in um, 2.01. His boost ratio was raised from 1 to 2 to 1 to 1. So he does now does 1 extra damage per HP that he has. As you can see, mine is doing uh, 60, uh, yeah, 68 damage per cast, assuming he doesn't get damage. And with 29 armor, it's probably not going to get damage. Of course, yours is going to be doing a lot uh, lower. He is an epic that isn't a uh, kingdom epic, though. So you can only get him from... A lucky glory or gem chest. Some alternatives you could use is a steam turret or the blade dancer if you do not have bull tours. But you would preferably want to use bull tours. You don't need any traits on them. You just need to get them leveled, um, preferably b above epic. But of course, if you just have one, you won't be able to do that. Just make sure you have them max leveled if you have them, and have as many magic and HP kingdoms as possible. And for the rest of the team, um, you need three. Fully traded max, uh, fully traded dust devils. It doesn't matter what his level or ascension is. You just need him fully traded. As long as you have three of him fully traded, it will work. Because uh, dust devil was nerfed a while back <coughs> due to him being used for so many of the <laughs> other challenges and stuff. And I don't know. After this, he might be nerfed again. Who knows? <laughs> but um, <coughs> he uh, now only deals five damage at all levels. But this is better for newer players because that means he's actually doing more damage at lower levels like if you had him at like level 5 or something that would be enough HP to keep him alive level 5 10 probably level 10 would be a good number if you don't want to level him all the way and he still deals 5 damage at all levels regardless of how many magic kingdoms you have or any other factor so you don't need a mythic you can have him at uh, rare and just have him three of them as long as he's fully traded because you need what you need him for is air link and empowered empowered you'll be getting this 5 damage off uh, every single cast that's a total of 20 less that Pool Taurus doesn't need to worry about because he does split damage. So every single time, uh, despite it doing 5 damage each, he's essentially doing 20 damage every single cast. So that will keep reducing down the enemy HP until Pool Taurus can one-shot them. And the air link is, um, if you get a yellow surge, uh, let's go through all the mana, you get um, 3 for just doing a match. You get another 3 if it surges, so that is 6. You then get three more from the Dust Devils, that is nine. You then get two more from the Banner, that is eleven. How much mana does Boltors have? Exactly eleven. So if you get a Yellow Surge, you just fill Boltors up in one turn. Of course, if you don't get a Surge, you can easily just grab a Red or Yellow, and that will give you the last three that you need. So let me just show you like a match or two, kind of give you the uh, basic premise of how a match goes down with this build. So, right off the bat, you use the Empowered Early Glitch, that's uh, Dust Level. And at this point, we basically just wait until we can take a yellow. A yellow or red for the most part. Unfortunately, I did not see that red right at the start there. Uh, so, he did get that. Sometimes if you see a skull, you might want to take that skull. We were getting really bad luck on this board though, unfortunately. Because we don't seem to be getting a yellow anywhere. No yellow, no red. So, we'll just take the skull. Gotta do some improv. Uh, come on, give us the yellow. Don't do this for the video. There we go. And as you see, one yellow surge, he is filled. And then he team wipes. Uh, mine, currently, I found to team wipe always. Uh, of course, yours will have lower stats. And occasionally, you might have to double cast them. But for the most part, and as you can see, we got a red runic too. But for the most part, it just completely wipes. Like, let's explore again. You can see we have a common, common, rare, common. We're actually getting pretty lucky on this. Fortress Gate is a little bit more durable, but should still be this basic same premise of how, what we were already doing. <laughs> so we just go in. Uh, scout out the board real quick, using Powered Early. <clears throat> and now we just wait for a yellow to align on the board, or for another red to appear somewhere. And it looks like the board is being mean to us again. 
So I'm actually going to let it take those skulls and hope that a yellow appears right there. Actually, he's going to take those purples. Wait, no, oh, never mind. That's not an extra turn. There we go. That is why I waited. Man, we get the surge, and then that is the team wipe. So that is the basic premise of how to do exploring quick. And let me do a different um, area. Actually, I haven't even done a different area. I've just been doing all keys though. Let's say you needed a different gem. Uh, let's say we needed, I don't know, um, red. Actually, I need, oh, I, I don't need the uh, bigger reds. I just need minor reds. So doing the challenges. Doing the challenges is mostly good for runics and arcanes. Uh, you don't, shouldn't really be doing them if you need the commons because you won't be getting them as often as uh, regular matches from that kingdom. Oh, well, let's see. What uh, kind of traits do you guys need? Um, let's see. Red, yellow, I guess. Maybe you need to um, level up your Valkyrie. You still don't have her uh, last trait that gives plus one blue, and you need her for soul farming or something. Uh, here's red, yellow, arcane. And, of course, every single kingdom has its own different arcane. Um, and like I showed earlier, these are the monocolor ones. And luckily, every single kingdom, you can just go to explore now to see what, uh, to see what trait stone it actually gives. So let's say we needed a red yellow. Let's go to Adana, go explore, and then just click explore. Of course, do keep in mind, you do need to have... Why is there no Adana troop in the Adana challenge? That's not fair. Let's go to one that's actually aligned to its thing. Let's say we needed a pure yellow for something. Or we needed yellow traits in general. Explore, let's see. Uh, okay, we got some white helm. Actually, we got a pretty strong white helm. Why not even be able to kill it? That's interesting. Uh, but yeah, uh, for the most part... That is basically the premise with it. You just go where you need a trade stone, then you keep clicking challenge, and you kill through them. No, no, just make double check for no extra turn. This would actually be a little bit hard with the um, Celestasia, because Celestasia is actually pretty sturdy. Come on, yellow. Yeah, sometimes the board can be horrible to you. As soon as you see a yellow, you basically want to take it off the board. Like, you notice I've just been, like, cast spamming them. But, for the most part, you do want to wait till that yellow. Take it right away. As you can see, we did miss this, so we do need a red or another yellow. And luckily, they have an alchemist, so he'll probably do that for us next turn. Come on. There he goes. And that will give us the game. Uh, yep. Take that. Blastasia will do something. And then, that should be the team wipe. We're pretty close. Yep. Of course, yours might take two casts. Mine's pretty... Mine's, like, as, almost as max as you can possibly get in this game. So, but still, even with two casts, that's still pretty fast. And anyone can really build that team. It's pretty easy to build. Um, the hardest one to get from it is getting that epic. Since it's uh, not only in chests. But yeah, that is basically how you farm uh, trade stones and um, the challenges or the explorers in general and 2.01 if you have any more questions about it in any way feel free to leave it in the comment section below and i will address them uh thanks for watching and i will see you in the next episode uh goodbye